Hello, in this section of the Arrowhide Getting Started video series, I will guide you through creating a simple open guest SSID with a captive web portal for use policy acceptance using Hive Manager Express Mode. At this time, I will configure a simple guest SSID by clicking the New SSID button. For a guest SSID, you should select the Guest Access Radio button because this SSID will be used for visitors. This setting will optimize the interface to display the options advantageous for guest networks. For example, you will now have a single click option to enable a stateful guest firewall policy that permits internet access only, as well as the option to rate limit guest user traffic. I will give this SSID a simple and obvious name, Guest-Wi-Fi. For ease of use, this SSID will be set to use Open Access. You can also use WPA WPA2 Personal or our private PSK access security options as well if you want to provide secure guest access. There are examples of secure guest access available in our computer-based training modules available from the help menu. Because guests are going to be on the network, I want to ensure they agree to an acceptable use policy before being granted access to the network. This can be done by configuring this SSID with a captive web portal. I will click plus to create a new captive web portal. The captive web portal name is used for referencing this captive web portal. The captive web portal name is used for referencing this captive web portal if you wish to use it in other SSIDs. I will call it CWP use policy. Now you can specify the Captive Web Portal registration type. Here, there are options when a user is prompted with a Captive Web Portal to authenticate users with a Radius server, have them enter their own user contact information with self-registration, or have them agree to an acceptable use policy, which is what I will use for this Captive Web Portal. You can use the default captive web portal settings or add custom wording, background images, or even import your own web pages. To get an idea of what you can modify, I will expand the captive web portal login page settings. Here you can add custom web pages. If you want to know the format of the pages to import, you can click the export button to download a zip file containing all the different types of captive web portal pages. To modify the default login page, click Customize Login Page. Here you can change the background image, change the foreground color, and edit the use policy directly by typing into the text box on the screen. If you do make changes, you can click the Preview button to see what the page will look like. Now you can save or cancel your changes. Another setting I like to customize is what happens after someone agrees to the use policy. To do this, I expand the Customize Captive Web Portal Success page settings. Here you have the option to redirect to the web page the user originally requested. or redirect to an external web page, which is a very common practice. Here, I will redirect guests to the aerohive.com website. Now that the Captive Web Portal is defined, I will save it and go back to the SSID settings.
Here you can see that the CAT web portal is now selected. Next, you can specify how you want to separate guest traffic from corporate traffic. One way to do this is with using virtual LANs or VLANs. My access switch is configured with 8021Q VLAN trunking and allows VLAN 10 for guests. Also, the DCP server and router on my network are also configured to support VLAN 10. In addition, because the guest access radio button was selected for this SSID, a default rate limit for guests is set to 3000 kilobits per second which is 3 megabits per second, and it enables a stateful firewall policy on the AP that ensures guests only have access to the internet, but are prevented from accessing internal private IP addresses. I will now save this SSID. You can define more SSIDs if you like at a later time. For now, I will click continue. Please go to the next section, Upload My Configuration. Thank you for taking the time to watch this section of the Arrowhide Getting Started video series. If you have more time, please proceed to the next section.